right? We're going to make something called croquettes, right? Which is basically uh, creamy on the inside, crispy on the outside. So I've got some ham and cheese in the freezer. And I'm freezing this first, not for very long, but just enough to kind of uh, solidify it, hold it up a little bit, because we're going to pulse this down in the food processor. We're going to make the whole thing in a food processor. It's really easy. And actually putting this in the freezer for a second will kind of you know, firm it up a little bit so it doesn't melt from the temperature and the speed of the blade. It's just going to shred up so it's nice and, nice and pulverized. So we've got Serrano ham, which is sort of Spain's version of prosciutto. Um, the flavor's a little different. It's, it's definitely meatier, it's denser, it's cured longer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Serrano ham, chop this up into some pieces here. We've also got a little bit of Manchego cheese too, uh, which is one of my favorite Spanish cheeses. It's really creamy, it's a sheep's milk cheese, and it's from La Mancha, which is in central Spain. Um, it's a little south of Madrid. It's got a great flavor to it. It's nutty, it's creamy. It's also great in a grilled cheese sandwich. We're gonna take all these guys and we're gonna chop them up, put it into a food processor, all right, we're gonna pulse it down so it's really, really well ground up. All right, cool. All right, once we get the ham and the cheese fairly ground up, we're gonna fold in leftover mashed potatoes, and we've also got one egg, just to bind the whole thing together and give a little puff once we fry them. A little bit of salt. All right, perfect. Once we get everything mixed up, the next part of this whole process is making them crispy. And with that, uh, we've got some panko crumbs in the pantry here. Now, panko crumbs are like this year's black. Like, everybody's using them. And I like panko crumbs in anything that I want to make crispy, like a chicken cutlet or a shrimp or, or anything that you're going to fry. Right? Panko crumbs are fantastic. It's a large, uh, flaky Japanese breadcrumb. And people are using them on everything, so it doesn't really have to be anything Japanese per se. I'm going to hit this with a little bit of salt, so we got a little bit of base flavor. Give it a little stir. All right, and we're going to make some great shapes here called quenelles, okay? It's not tricky, two spoons. Let me show you how to do it. All right, well, you want to take a little more than one spoon will handle, like that. And you want to take the second spoon and just form sort of a three-sided football. All right, if you're not really good at this, or you feel like you're making a mess, you can certainly just kind of form them into kind of little meatball shapes, and it'll totally do the same thing. But that is a traditional croqueta from Spain. Check that out. All right, so we got these guys. All right, we're going to put it into the panko crumbs. All right, I want to kind of keep the heat away from this, because that's going to help it break down and get soft before I want to fry it. So as cold as possible, as long as possible, and I'm going to bang the rest of these out. Quinelles. All right, so we got our croquettes very well covered with our panko crumbs, and then we're gonna put them into the fridge for like a half an hour. We wanna get them nice and cold, let them set up before we fry them. All right, so those are gonna go into the fridge. We've also got a nice big pot of oil here. Uh, you wanna make sure that the temperature reads about 360 degrees uh, because our croquettes, or potato fritters, are in the fridge, so they're cold. So we wanna make sure that the oil is a little warmer than we need actually to fry these from the beginning because we're going to drop these in. The temperature of the potato fritter is going to bring down the temperature of the oil. So we want to make sure that it kind of balances out. So about 350 degrees for you at-home players. And then we're going to take these guys, we're going to drop them in, let them start to fry. When they float, they're done, and they're going to be absolutely perfect. And we're going to serve that with a uh, gorgeous, fresh, red pepper romesco sauce, really easy recipe. Lots of garlic and roast red pepper, some almonds. The flavors are fantastic. Now we're gonna garnish these guys up with just some chives. A little bit of onion tastes great with the ham and the cheese and the crispy flavors. And it's gonna be really, really nice. And this, if we're talking about Spain, it's a great hors d'oeuvre, right? Make a big platter. And we're also gonna grate some manchego cheese. Now traditionally manchego cheese is kind of a soft cheese, but what I did is I took half a block and I put it in the freezer and I froze it, right? And then we're just going to take the manchego and put it onto a microplane. It's going to shave a nice little dusting over top of the whole thing. We've got a gorgeous platter, looking good. Now let me crack one of these open. This you got to see. Check it out. Look at that. It's so soft. Really delicious. Look how fluffy that is. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, super crunchy. I'm going for a little quick bite here. Mmm. Can you hear that? 
That is so fantastic. It's fresh. Really, really great flavor.